Hey, it's Dr. Jack Wolfson, board certified cardiologist, the natural cardiologist, the paleo cardiologist, like my Amazon best selling book. I want to talk to you today about the heart murmur. People from all over the world come out to see me in Arizona, and a lot of them have been told they have a heart murmur, and they were told they need surgery. Sometimes you do need surgery for a heart murmur, sometimes you don't. Let's talk about it. First of all, what is a murmur? A murmur is the sound that we hear in the chest with a stethoscope. So we got the stethoscope, we hear the heart murmur, the cardiologist or your doctor heard something in your chest and they called it a murmur. Well, a murmur is just a sign that there is turbulence in the heart. When there's a lot of turbulence, it makes a sound that the cardiologist hears. It's kind of like if you think about a wide river and the river doesn't make a lot of noise until it gets to some narrowing and there it starts to get faster you start to get turbulence and that river becomes really loud the heart can be very similar to that so the heart has valves and the heart valves can be responsible for a murmur when they are starting to show disease now there are three most common forms of murmurs that we're going to hear or three most common things that cause a heart murmur Number one, aortic valve disease. So the aortic valve is the valve that leaves the heart. So the heart pumps and pumps blood through the aortic valve to the rest of the body. Well, that valve can be diseased. It can have calcification as people get older. And that can lead to some tightness of the valve and therefore it generates a murmur. And that is what we call aortic stenosis. Now, not all aortic valve disease leads to stenosis sometimes it can be what's called aortic valve sclerosis but still the same thing calcification of the valve when it becomes severe enough it's called aortic stenosis and when it's severe enough and the person develops symptoms that is a sign they need to have some form of open heart procedure or one of the new transcatheter surgeries called the TAVR procedure now the second murmur i'll talk to you about is leakage of the aortic valve Blood flow goes out and then it comes back into the heart. That's called aortic regurgitation or aortic insufficiency. And that is a murmur that once again, the cardiologist can hear. And that is also something that can be repaired surgically if need be, if you meet a certain set of criteria. And that criteria is well published. The third murmur that is very common is the common uh, uh, is the murmur of mitral regurgitation or a leaky mitral valve. And the leaky mitral valve blood flows from what's called the left ventricle. Instead of going out through the aorta and aortic valve, it goes backwards into the left atrium. And that can generate a murmur as well from that turbulence. So we've got those three main causes. Now, those murmurs can be significant and sometimes they do need to be surgically repaired or repaired with a new catheter-based intervention. But what if we can delay that process? What if you never need that. What if there's strategies that we can use to prevent the disease progression, the valve damage progression? So when you hear that murmur, don't always think surgery first. There may be some things that we can do naturally and holistically to strengthen up that valve. At the very least, there's techniques to make you as healthy as possible while going through that surgery. So live the healthy lifestyle, eat the right foods, get sunshine, get sleep, get away from stress. And then also there are some supplements that may help your valve stay strong. So I'll list some of those in the notes and on this blog as this goes forward. But here's the main things, get sunshine in the chest, eat the healthy foods, get rid of the stress, stay physically active, get sleep as appropriate, get under chiropractic care. All those things will improve your heart function and help limit the progression of that valve issue because someone heard that murmur. So when in doubt, come out to Arizona. I'll check you out myself, my, one of my nurse practitioners, guidance with our health coaches. We're here to help you. And like I said, at the very least, sometimes you need surgery, but what if we can make you as healthy as possible going into that surgery so you have the lowest risk of complications or side effects. And with your new valve, we keep it going 
as long as you're alive. <laughs>